everybody this is Sherry with CPR craft pray repeat and I just wanted to show you uh, something I made and before I get it boxed up should have done this earlier but I just completely zoned it out my son is coming up and I made a big batch of homemade hot cocoa mix and so I wanted to send some down with my grandson and I found this really cute container at Walmart. Give me one second and I'll pull it out here and share it with you. Alright guys, this is a bit of an odd angle. This is the top of the container and it's wood and it has a piece of plastic that seals it when it lifts off. And I'm not going to open it up because I've got hot cocoa mix already in there. This is the front of the container. I absolutely fell in love with these. We found them at Walmart and I believe they were $3.97 or something like that. They were less than $4. I got one for um, a couple other uh, families that have little people in their house and I thought it would be really cute to send to them. So this is what the container looks like and this is what I made to um, go on the container. I'm just going to sit it right up here so you guys can see it. I just used uh, one of my digital collections from Knitwork, Knitwit Collections and used the little gingerbread with the hot cocoa cup and cut it out with a die. It's called Vintage Tea Party. I'm not sure. Oh, it's from Crafter's Companion. And um, so I pulled it out and that's what I used. I also printed out some digital papers for the little topper. And I made some other ones. I'll share them with you in a second. But I put on here, it says hot cocoa on the cup. And then down here it says add two heaping teaspoons to one hot cup of water. And I should have, my daughter corrected me and said I should have put add two heaping teaspoons to um, one cup of hot water. I don't know what the difference is, but I, it sounds better and but I'd already printed them out and they're coming in the morning and so I don't have time to redo them but I do think it turned out really cute I inked up the edges I put a little bit of twine around the top of the cap where the fabric would be which is what it would you do you know tie some type of ribbon or twine around it to decorate it if you were making actual little canisters like that and I've got a couple other ideas that I'm using for my hot cocoa mix and I will show them in in future videos but I wanted to get this one out and I wanted to share with you the other I haven't finished them they're going to say um, you know either baked with love or ho handmade just for you something like that I haven't quite figured out what stamps I'm gonna put on them and they're all the same and they're all inked the same around the edge with tumbled glass and then I just took the digital collections and I printed out the squares in a two and a quarter inch square. That way the print is real super small. So it's just the perfect size for these little tags. And then I just wrapped the twine around. I have a couple, I have a white and a, there's the white looking one. And then there's the more traditional, I guess, unbleached one. So they've all just, they're all just a little bit different. And this is what I made. I'm going to turn these into um, tags for, to give away at Christmas time to go with my other ones. I don't usually mass produce like this, but they were super easy to do and it only took a few seconds. And like I said, I love that I was able to print the paper out for the little top. I love that I was able to print it out and, um, in you know a smaller size so it just was the perfect fit and this just hangs off the side right here next to the words cocoa so it would hang like right like that so I put it over so it was out of the way but this thing spins so you can change it wherever you want to and uh, but I did send some more cocoa to some other folks but again I was kind of in a rush to get them out the door because I sent it with Jesse to the police department so I will sh I'm gonna make some more to send out later on so I'll share with you how I did that then but I was really tickled with these and I like the fact that they have the plastic inside so it's got a real tight seal 
So, like I said, we found those at Walmart for four bucks. Super cheap, and they are absolutely adorable. These would make really cute gifts if you have, you know, like if for your office and not just like one particular co-worker, but like for an office gift to fill this up with the cocoa would be really cute and a neat, neat, neat office, you know, gift. And I have the recipe that I use but it makes a ginormous amount and I'm sure if you look online that you'll find you know a hot cocoa mix that would probably be a lot more scaled down than the one that I make that is just ridiculous in size but I give a lot of it away so it works out really well for us and we drink I drink a lot of it my family drinks a lot of it but so, you know, you can look, and if I can find a hot cocoa, a really good hot cocoa recipe that I think would work real well for you, I'll try to link it in the description box. Alright, everybody, I hope that you like these. I really thought they were cute. I wish I could kind of show it at a better angle, but you get the general idea. And then I also, like I said, whipped up those tags real quick and simple. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.